hello students welcome to this session today i have just solved this je main test 74 and here is the analysis of the physics section so paper is you cannot say very very tough but it was not easy again i have regarded four as tough now i have changed my difficulty level based on perception i am assuming the crowd is the one which is having a percentile around 90 92 percentile not greater than that so i am assuming these papers are being done not by students who have very sure of advance so for them this four questions are tough and 18 will still be medium and only three can be say, say to be cake walk now question number 19 is a special one because they use the term louder and louder and intensity greater are somewhat difference when you uh, measure in the dv levels and for 21 i suppose the method they have done is wrong you have to go by that log in calculation that i have done so these are the mistakes that i have find out 191 was a good one just remember but i feel that should not be used simply intensity ratios must be given so for this paper for such an a student i say again if you score 55 to 60 plus marks you are doing good and for those who are sure for advance again you have to go for 80 85 plus score in this particular paper so let's begin d broccoli wavelength of a ball of mass 120 g moving at a speed of 20 m per second is so straight away you know lambda is h upon mv so what is h 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34 in si units m is 0.12 kg i can write v is 20 so what do you have this is 1.22 that is 2.24 6.63 upon 2.4 into 10 to the power minus 34 so this term would be less than 3 and it would be greater than 2 and power would be 10 to the power minus 34 so go for 2.8 into 10 to the power minus 34 meters that is the only correct option i can see next 24 volt battery of internal resistance 4 ohm is connected to a variable resistor okay if the rate of heat production in the resistor is maximum then the current in the circuit is that means the power transferred to the resistor is maximum that means that external r is equal to small r that is equal to 4 ohm so therefore the current would be 24 upon 4 plus 4 that is 8 that is going to be 3 ampere so a straight away thing you know the p max is when external load equals internal resistance next transformer of 90% efficiency works on 200 volt 3 kilowatt power supply if the current in the secondary is 6 and the voltage across the secondary and the current in the primary is so first of all from this power in the primary circuit would be ip into vp so ip will come out to be 3 kilowatt that is 3000 upon 200 so it comes out as 15 ampere so this is the primary so we are left with three options now voltage across secondary what i will write i'll say is into vs that is power in secondary is 90% that is 0.9 of ip into vp which you are directly given as pp so is is 0.9 into pp pp is 3000 upon vs vs is uh, you uh, okay sorry vs you have to calculate upon is is would be 6 amperes so that is 6 500 500 into 0.9 15 into 9 that is 450 volts so 450 volts 15 amperes so you will go for option b for sure okay next this is the third one and now the fourth you have three parallel plate air con capacitors in parallel okay all are in parallel you are given Each has an area I by three separation D, two D, three D. Okay, the equivalent capacity of combination is in parallel. You know C one plus C two plus C three. For the first one, it is epsilon not A by three. This is same for all. So it is one by D plus one by two D plus one by three D. You can write take the LCM as six D. So it would be three plus two plus one by six D. So that is six six. It goes that is epsilon not A by what we have. If we do this, okay, I have, I have taken it wrong because it is six D, so it would be six plus three plus two. Sorry, so it would be eleven by sixty. So it is eleven by eighteen, I suppose. So eleven by eighteen, where I am getting this option, this is B. That is the one I will take for next. Planet of Mars, small m, is in an elliptical orbit about the sun with a period t. If a be the area, then the angular momentum is. So simply, what you can say, angular momentum remains constant. And angular momentum simply what you can write you have that aerial velocity thing dA by dt is equal to L upon 2m and that remains constant. This m is mass of planet, so dA by dt because it is constant complete area in time period t is L by 2m, so L is equals to 2m a by t. So this is also a commonly done thing that you should be able to get it. Next, 
you have a mole of a mono gas at a temperature t not slowly expands as p equal to kv the final temperature is 4 t not then the heat supplied is a very similar question came in today's neat paper also there that was 2 t not to 4 t not uh, 2 t not so what i will do here p is k times v that simply means p v to the power minus 1 is constant that's a polytropic process with x equal to minus 1 so therefore heat supplied so c would be cv plus r upon 1 minus x if you're not familiar with it do watch my two series on the polytropic process of 5 5 minutes and 10 minutes you would be able to crack it like a pro so cv is 3r by 2 plus r by 2 that is 2r so q would be equals to n c delta t so n is 1 c is 2r delta t is 4 minus 1 that is 3t naught that comes out as 6 r t naught go for option c this is the c1 that is going to be the answer next current carrying wire placed in the grooves of an insulating semiconductor disc of radius r as shown the current enters at a and leaves from point p determine the magnetic field at the point d so what would be the field at d so first due to this wire if i make out because we know angle in a semicircle is a right angle this is 90 degree this one is also a 90 degree so first let's say this is 1 this is 2 so the first due to the first wire we can see it is outwards and it would be equal to mu naught i upon the gap now the gap would be this much so how to calculate this this would be r perpendicular so r perpendicular you can make out here it would be equal to uh, what i can say okay we need not to do anything because we can simply take the t ratio it would be 2r sin 30 which is r so this is 2r sin 30 that is going to be equals to r so this is mu naught i upon 4 pi r into cos of 30 plus cos of 90 that would be 0 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so you have root 3 mu naught i by 8 pi r and it is coming out and for the second one similar style you do that would be 2r cos 6 8 sin 60 so this r perpendicular would be 2r sin 60 that would be root 3 r so it is mu naught i upon 4 pi into root 3 r and again you will have cos 60 plus 0 cos 60 is 1 by 2 so it is mu naught i upon 8 root 3 pi r and this direction if you see is cross inwards so the net field is subtraction of the two so mu naught i upon 8 pi r take out as common root 3 minus 1 by root 3 that comes out as 2 by root 3 so 2 upon 8 root 3 pi r into mu naught i so going by this option this would be 2 by 8 i can do this 1 by 4 root 3 so it's going for b option that is the appropriate one so nice question very nice question not a very tough but not an easy one it requires the application of your mind and previous earlier classes concepts particle is projected at 60 degree to the horizontal with a speed of 10 after some time the direction of velocity makes an angle 30 degree the speed of the particle at this instant so what you can have now this makes 30 degree so let it be v and that was u that was making 60 degree you know ux must be equals to vx so u cos 60 is v cos 30 so v should be equal to u of cos 60 by cos 30 u is 10 cos 60 is half that is root 3 by 2 so that is 10 by root 3 that is the answer so we'll go for option d no doubt about this next one conveyor belt goes at a speed of 2 a box is gently dropped coefficient of friction 0.5 distance a box will move relative to the belt before coming to rest so with respect to belt if i talk about so u of the uh, what we can say box with respect to belt because with boxes rest and belt is moving it would be minus 2 i can say so the friction acts forwards so acceleration of box with respect to belt if i do that would be equal to mu g mu g means 0.5 into 10 because uh, mu s mg and uh, that divided by mass so it is 5 meter per second square and when slipping stops v of box with respect to belt will become zero so displacement of box with respect to belt before it comes to relative rest is uh, we have to find out so use the third equation that we use so zero square is minus two that is four plus two into five into delta x of box with respect to belt so displacement of box with respect to belt negative means it is with respect to belt it goes uh, behind so minus 4 by 10 that is 0.4 meters so we'll go for option now uh, next one this is the 10th one what we are given two radioactive nuclei you have p and q okay 
सो पी एंड क्यू इन अ गिवन सैम्पल डी के इन टू आर टी इक्वल टू जीरो पी हैज़ फोर एंड नॉट क्यू हैज़ एंड नॉट हाफ लाइफ ऑफ पी इज़ वन ऑफ क्यू इज़ टू इनिशली देर आर वन नो न्यूक्लियर ऑफ आर प्रेजेंट इन द सैम्पल वेन द न्यूक्लियर ऑफ पी एंड क्यू आर इक्वल द नंबर ऑफ आर प्रोड्यूस जस्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट आई कैन मेक आउट लेट्स आई टेक टू टू मिनट्स सो दिस इज़ अ टी इक्वल टू जीरो वट आई हैड दिस इज़ पी दिस इज़ क्यू दिस वॉज फोर एंड नॉट दिस वॉज इन नॉट Now at two minutes, two minutes means p is two half lives has passed, so it will become one by fourth of initial that is a naught, and it will become half. And similarly, if I take at four minutes again, it would be one by four of that, and it would be half of that, so both will be equal at four minutes. So the number decayed of this would be equal to four minus one by four, that would be equal to fifteen by four and naught, that is the r produced, and here it would be three and naught by four. That is eighteen and not by four, or you can say nine and not by two. So this is the number of nuclei of R produced by the time the both becomes equal. Next, what will be the displacement equation of the SHM by combining the motion? Okay, three you are given. So three you have to combine. So this is omega t by plus by six pi by three. So we will go for that phasor method, but we write. So this first right phasor is two. The second phasor is four at an angle thirty degree. And this is six at an angle again, sixty degree, or you can say thirty between them. So now you have to add these three vectors. So how you are going to add these three vectors? So best thing is if you are not very familiar, do it that x y component. So I can write first one as two i cap, second one as four cos thirty i plus four sine thirty j, and the last one as six cos sixty i plus six sine sixty j. So what you will have now? So if I do that i i i Four cos thirty is two root three, and this is three, so two plus three five five plus two root three i cap. Sine thirty is one by two, sine sixty is root three by two, so that is two, and that is three root three, so two plus three root three. So if we do this, this will come out as five plus two into one point seven three two i cap plus two plus three into one point seven three two j cap. So it basically comes out around 8.64 i cap, and this comes out as 7.2 j cap. So amplitude would be 8.64 or 8.6 square plus 7.2 square. Now, if you do this, this is going to be tough because options are too close. But if you will do this, it is 124 point something. It comes, so it would be 11.25 that we can get. I've also calculated it, so don't worry. I'm, I'm not a superman. I've calculated it using a calculator. So it's 11.25, and it would be omega t plus phi because the resultant will be above it. So I'll go for option C. So question is not tough, but calculation are not very friendly here. It will take time to to calculate. Next, the compressibility of water is this per unit atmospheric pressure. Okay, the decrease in volume of 100 centimeter cube of water under a pressure of 100 atm will be. So what we have compressibility you all know is one upon bulk modulus and bulk modulus you remember is minus V dP by dV. So what you can write it as this would be one by B one by V would be what you can write dV upon V upon dP you can write it like this. Okay, this is the compressibility that you can talk about. Next, so it is four into ten to the power five per unit atmospheric pressure. Okay. The decrease in volume of 100 centimeter cube of under pressure of 100 will be. So I can directly write that dV would be equals to or delta V. What you can say it is dP into V into K. So dP the pressure change you have applied is 100 atm. Volume is 100 centimeter cube and this is 4 into 10 to the power minus 5 unit will cancel for atmosphere. So it is 4 4. So it is 4 into 10 to the power minus 1 so 0.4 centimeter cube. You can directly go for. So option A will be the answer. Next. Now the next one. Uh, this is the ray of sunlight enters a spherical wave droplet. Okay, four by three water droplet. Sorry, not water droplet. At an incidence angle fifty three with respect to the normal, reflected from the back surface of the droplet and re-enters into the air. The angle between the incoming and outgoing rays is okay. So what we will have here? Let me draw this droplet like this. Okay, this is the droplet that I have drawn, and let's say it uh, comes at some angle. Uh, let me rub it and uh, let's try it let's say it comes somewhere like here this is the normal so let's say it enters like this okay this is at an angle 53 degree this is i so it will bend towards the normal it will go like this and here it is given that it will do tir so it will re return at the same angle if this angle is theta this will be theta for sure and then when it comes here let's say it would be like this this would be the angle let's say 
let's call it uh, this would be theta also because you know that these r and r both are same so isosceles triangle this would be theta and now it will go like this this would be the angle of emergence that you can write as e so first of all what we are do if this is theta the, by the same logic this is also theta so the pair will be same if for 53 in air this is theta in uh, water so for theta in water this e will also be 53 degree for sure so now what you have to do now what you do you should be do first of all apply snell's law so 1 into sin of 53 is equal to 4 by 3 into sin of theta so sin 53 you know is 4 by 5 that is 4 by 3 of sin of theta so sin theta comes out as what you 3 by 5 that you all know is 37 degree so this comes out as 37 degree so now what you are required the angle between the incoming and outgoing rays so what is the total turning so here first of all the deviation here would be like this first surface deviation would be 53 minus 37 that is 16 degree and it would be like this and in the second one this deviation would be 180 minus 2 theta that is 180 minus 2 into 37 degree and this is also clockwise so what it is is 37 into 2 what you write as 74 so 180 minus 74 is 106 degrees clockwise and here also it will be turning like this and again it would be 16 degree you can make it out so what is the total turning 16 and 16 32 32 plus 106 that is 138 degree so it's a very nice question just uh, be sure with your optics and geometry you won't feel that tough otherwise it would be tough for you next uniform ring is rotating about the vertical axis with angular velocity omega initially okay a point insect having the same mass as the ring starts walking from the lowest position p1 and finally reaches the point p2 the final angular velocity is again we'll say no external torque will act whatever happening is uh, inside the house so what we will have l initial is l final so i will change initially what was i its contribution in i was 0 so that was only the ring ring was mr square by 2 and that was omega not finally its contribution would be mr square because it is a distance r so it becomes mr square by 2 plus mr square that is 3 mr square by 2 into omega final so omega has uh, so i has become 3 times so omega will become 1/3 so directly you can go it is omega by 3 because effectively i has become thrice so omega will become 1/3 next the area of the region covered by a tv broadcast by a tv tower of 100 meter height you directly know that the range is given by simply what simply you write it is root 2 rht that is you know the range and that area would be that pi range square that is pi into this square that is 2 rht that you all know so that's a very standard question from communication r is 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 and this is 100 so this is 10 to the power 8 into 6.4 into 2 is 12.8 into pi Uh, if it is coming by seven, no, it doesn't get sent cancelled by seven. So write it as three point one four. So twelve threes are thirty six and forty eight. It would be closer to that. Okay, you have to write it in terms of pi only. Sorry, I have solved it. No need for that. So it would be one point two eight pi uh, into. It is in meters. So this is one point two eight pi into ten to the power nine. I am getting in meters. So in a kilometers, it would be. it would be kilometer square sorry it is meter square sorry i am uh, wrong so kilometer it would be 10 to the power 6 factor so it would be 10 to the power minus 6 so it goes by 1.28 pi into 10 to the power 3 kilometer per 6 square so be careful let's meter square now don't do 10 to the power minus 3 it is 10 to the power minus 6 for kilometer square conversion iron rocket fragment initially at minus 100 enters the earth atmosphere almost horizontally and quickly fuses completely in atmospheric friction specific heat of iron is this melting point is this latent heat of fusion is this the minimum velocity which was the fragment must have entered is so we can say the loss in energy half mv square that would converted into all this so that would be first ms delta t plus ml that you can say one for the temperature change one for the phase change so this m m m goes so v square by 2 and minimum means we what we can talk about 100% is utilized in melting it So S is 0.11 kilocalorie. So do in kilocalorie only. 0.11 kilocalorie into delta T. Delta T is 102.1535. That is 1635. Plus you have uh, 13 kilocalorie. So it comes out as 11.5 za 55. 11.3 za 33.8. 66 and 39. 11.1 and 17. So it would be 179.85 plus 3. That is 182.85. That what we are getting. That is v square, v square into two. 
so what would be 182.85 so into 2 converted into standard unit because it is kilocalorie it is 10 to the power 3 into 4.2 so v is under root of all this oh my god this is 8.4 into 182.85 into 10 to the power 3 okay so how to do this now 182 approximately 200 into 8 that is 1600 so that would be 40 and 10 to the power 3 that is 400 pi so 400 pi pi means 3.14 that is 12 to 1300 so it would be 1.32 kilometer per second approximately i can go for now the next the dimensional formula for entropy so what you know that entropy or change in entropy you generally write as q reversible by t that is q by t that is energy by t energy by temperature so i always say remember energy is ml2 t minus 2 temperature would be k so it would be ml2 t minus 2 k minus 1 as per the option this comes out as c next white light is used to illuminate the two slits in ydse okay separation is d and that is capital d and that is greater greater the point and screen directly in front of one of the slits certain wavelengths are missing the missing wavelengths are missing means there is a what you can say there is a uh, destructive interference happening for them so here so what would be the part difference between them because it is very very small i can directly go for this part difference d sin theta and that sin theta would be equal to here 10 theta 10 theta would be let's say this distance we know y would be equals to d by 2 divided by t and that should be equals to 2n minus 1 yeah 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 whatever you can write so the missing wavelength lambda will be now d square 2 2 cancel upon d into 2n minus 1 or 2n plus 1 whatever you is in the option so here 2n minus 1 is in the option so go for b next one you have two loudspeakers that are being compared one is perceived to be 32 times louder the difference in intensity level between the two when measured in now for this question there's a, actually there's some common difference 32 times louder is different you cannot say it like the i2 by i1 is 32 times 32 times louder so just remember the intensity level changes corresponding to loudness or let's you can say delta l loud so this factor of loudness you just remember this level change delta l loudness would be equals to 10 log base 2 times x where it x times louder so here it is 32 times louder so it is log 2 into what we can say 32 so it comes out as 50 db so just remember if you have 2 times louder 2 times louder means difference of 10 db 10 times louder means clearly difference of 10 db in sound level just remember so here 32 means a difference of 50 db so this loudness term is generally we don't study so that gives some misnomer so here answer a spherical ball of mass m is kept at the highest point in the space between two fixed concentric spheres a and b okay highest point okay uh, a smaller sphere a has a radius r and the space uh, between the two has a width d the ball has a diameter very slightly less than d all surface is frictionless ball is given a gentle push the angle made by the radius vector of the ball with the upward vertical is theta what is the total normal reaction in terms of angle theta so what i can write here so when it is an angle theta first of all this would be mg and uh, depending on that uh, it would be close in contact with the uh, inner or outer one let's say if it's inner one let's say write it in so what i will write first of all from energy analysis i will say mgh h would be r 1 minus cos theta would be equal to half mv square so v square you know is 2 gr 1 minus cos theta. now towards center we have mg cos theta minus n should be equal to mv square by r so going by above it would be 2 mg 1 minus cos theta this is mg cos of theta minus n so n comes out from here as 3mg cos theta okay minus 2mg so i take common mg it comes out as 3 cos theta minus 2 so it would be option a you can directly go for one of the common question asked is when it changes it contact from lower to the upper one that is when n becomes 0 that is when cos theta equals 2 by 3 because d was very small i would have directly taken that radius to be r instead of let's say r plus d by 2 because that is almost going to be the same because it is very very small next so we have done with the straight objectives now the numerical ones 
cart having sand mass 1800 kg moves on a straight horizontal road under the action of this force sand spills through a hole at the rate of this what would be the value of the velocity of the cart after 20 minutes so here you have to do the integration you can't do anything else so let's say after any time t f would be equal to mass left which is m not minus kt into a that is dv by dt so what we have this dv is f dt upon m not minus kt and doing this integration after 20 minutes so 0 to 20 minutes 20 minutes means that is 1200 seconds yes 20 into 60 1200 so our tough integration and this would be from 0 to v so this would be v minus 0 so f we will take it as common and it will become upon minus k 1 upon minus k and it would be ln of m not minus 1200 k upon m not so putting the values what we have v is minus f by k minus f is 120 upon 0.5 ln of what you have 120 minus uh 1200 into 0.5 that is 1200 into 0.5 oh, sorry 1800 okay that was i saying mass would be cannot be negative it is 1800 minus because 1200 into 0.5 is 600 upon 1800 so it is basically coming out as 2 by 3 so reverse it it will become 120 upon 0.5 into ln of 3 by 2 so what we have now 240 ln 3 minus ln 2 now it is again a tough calculation because ln 3 ln 2 values you need to remember so what would be the values of ln 3 and ln 2 uh, so ln 3 is basically what you write it as uh, 0.47 into 2.3 let's say write it 0.47 minus 0.3 into 2.303 that would be enough so it is 240 into 0.17 into 2.303 now it would be a tough task because such calculation is not that easy because you are not exactly given the data so 0.17 into 2.303 it's roughly comes out to be uh, what i can say 0.4 approx it comes out so it is basically 240 into 0.4 that is 96 So as per me, this should be the answer. And T is given. I don't agree. They have not solved it correctly. They have done a very fraud solution here. I should say I am using a strong word because that is not the right way to do. Answer would be ninety six. Next, an airplane is flying at a velocity of nine hundred kmph. Loops a vertical circular loop. If the maximum force pressing the pilot against the seat is five times his weight, what would be the diameter? You know the maximum pressing force would be at the lowest point. There you have that n and you have that mg. So n minus mg is mv square by r. You write. So n is five times mg. So this becomes four mg. Is mv square by r? So v is equal to root four rg. So what we have? Four into nine hundred kmph. So convert it into five by eighteen meter per second. G is ten. So eighteen. You have this five uh, fifty. So fifty into five. So that is fifteen to fifty. So fifty would be out four two. That is hundred. So what would be the diameter? Okay. So V is given. Sorry, I did it wrong because we have to solve for the radius. I what I was doing. I don't know. I taken a radius as V and that. So R would be V. Be careful. It would be V square by four G. So V square is nine hundred into five by eighteen whole square upon four into ten. That is forty. So that is nine hundred in our converted. Let's say this is fifty fifty into five two fifty. So two fifty into two fifty upon forty. So what it comes out as two fifty into twenty five. Uh, so it would be two fifty into twenty five. Or let's say I divide it first. Whatever be this, let me divide it. This is four. In the four that four table, it will come out as six, uh, and this is sixty two point five. So sixty two point five into twenty five that we are getting. So twenty five five is one twenty five. Twenty five two is one fifty and two sixty two. Twenty five six is one fifty. One fifty and six. This is one five six two five. That is what we are. So it's one five six two point five. But we are asked what? We are asked the diameter. So it would be double of that. That is double. If I do this two, this is zero. This will come out as five. This is twelve. This is eleven. This is three one two five. So it is three one two five meters. Next, twenty third. The position of a particle with respect to time along the x-axis is this. Where x is in meter t is what would be the position when it achieves maximum speed along the positive x? So what would be when it speeds maximum speed? So maximum speed means first of all what is velocity here? Velocity will come out as eighteen t minus three t square. 
so going by this velocity is 18 t minus 3 t square so if i uh, start by let's say 18 t minus 3 t square so acceleration let's say would be 18 minus 60 so velocity will be maximum when acceleration is 0 dv by dt is 0 that is a t equal to 3 second for sure so at t equal to 3 second x would be 9 into 3 square minus 3 cube that is 9 nines are what you have 81 minus 27 so that comes out as 54 meters that is going to be the answer so I'll go for 54 next metal rod length 2 meter cross sectional area 2a a as shown the ends are maintained at 170 the temperature at the middle point is so because both are identical and its area is doubled so we know the resistance the thermal resistance is L upon K so area doubles means the resistance is half so if it is R this would be 2R so what we have you have two resistors R and 2R this is what we have this was maintained at 100 I suppose and this is maintained at 70 so what we have total drop is 30 so let's say this drop is V1 and or delta T1 you can write delta T1 and this is delta T2 I can say delta T1 would be equals to 1 by 3 of total drop that is 10 so drop of 10 means this temperature is going to be 90 so the temperature of the middle point is going to be 90 next one the number of photons falling per second on a completely darkened plate to produce a force of this Newton is this if the wavelength of the light is this what is the value of N is now force we know is dp by dt dp by dt is momentum falling per unit time so let's say n photons fall and momentum of each photon you know is h by lambda so it is n h by lambda that is what you will get so what we need the value of n would be f lambda by h directly so f is what you have 5 into 10 to the power minus oh, okay no, this is uh, lambda this is f is 6.62 into 10 to the power minus 5 lambda is 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 7 and for your calculation h is given as 6.62 into 10 to the power minus 34 so it completely cancel out so this is 34 and 7 and 5 12 so 34 minus 12 is 10 to the power 22 into 5 so that's a very easy one simply you have to just use this thing and the answer is automatically available to you so this was today's paper please keep sharing this channel to your friends and subscribe like the video 